Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I thought I wanted to share with you how I style my hair. So this is something that has been requested quite a lot recently. I've done a couple of videos in the past with like hair tutorials, but it's been a while since I did the last one. Um, so I just thought that for any newcomers, I just kind of wanted to show you how I style my hair, what kind of products I use. Um, what I ask for at the salon as well. Um, if you've been following along for a while, you'll notice that not a lot has changed since I shared my last hair tutorial. Um, I'm using slightly different products today, but other than that, I'm basically still using the same technique. So before I get into the whole styling section of this video, I just wanted to briefly talk you through what kind of cut I go for, what kind of hair color I ask for at the salon. I'm also gonna share with you my Pinterest board with hair inspiration. This is something I rely quite heavily on myself and have relied on for a couple of years because this is the hairstyle I like um, and I do have some photos in there um, that shows this typical kind of A-line bob. This is a shoulder length long bob is, is typically what it's called. And then it's cut in like an A-line shape. Typical for an A-line shape is that the front part is just slightly longer than the back part. And um, the color I go for is a balayage. So I get like blonde. This is a highlighting technique where they kind of paint the color on the hair to get a more natural result. So. Um, get a blonde balayage and then last time I had my hair colored which was I think around two months ago they or he gave my hairdresser gave it a um, toner to get it more like a cool blonde which I really like so that's basically it I get it dyed I think around two times per year because again with the balayage it gets like this quite natural look and I can stretch out the time between actually having it done a bit a bit longer I do get a haircut more often than that because it grows quite fast my hair we'll need to go back and have it cut just slightly shorter very soon before the summer time and then obviously I use a couple of products to try and maintain this slightly cooler blonde which I will talk through um, talk you through when I start styling my hair my natural hair color is like a dark blonde which is why it works really well with these like blonde highlights again with the balayage I think it gives a very nice natural sun-kissed look and I really like that especially during the winter months when my hair has a tendency to get a bit darker I think it's nice to just get that sun-kissed look um, so yeah that's basically it um, I've already turned on my straighteners so these are a pair of straighteners from Remington I believe they're called sleek and curl don't know if they're available anymore because I've had them for around five to six years they still work um, and yeah, like the name refers to, they're great for both straightening your hair but also creating a bit of a wave and it never lets me down. have been using a wand for some years as when I kind of switch between those two. Right now I prefer the straighteners and my curling wand is at my desk at work so if I don't have time to curl my hair at home, sometimes it can be hard with the little one to both do makeup and hair depending on how time pressed we are in the morning. I will just do it when I get to my office. Um, I've seen that, I think DHD makes these like wireless hair tools, which I think could be kind of cool if I ever were to like switch one of my, my um, hair, hair tools for creating waves, just so that when you're, if you're on the go and if you're a time pressed individual like me, um, it's nice to just pop into your purse and then you can just spend like five or ten minutes doing it whenever you have the time. So just a tip and just a thought. Before I start straightening, not straightening, before I curl my hair, I am just going to apply a bit of dry shampoo. Um, I washed my hair, not yesterday but the day before, and I try to only wash it um, three times per week. So hair washing day is tomorrow and usually my hair can get a little bit greasy as at least like the day before hair washing day or on the day where I would usually wash it. So I will just apply a little bit of um, dry shampoo. This is from Batiste. So this is just uh, their original clean and classic one. Kind of wish they would make one without scent because I really try to limit the amount of fragrance that I use in beauty products. But uh, I just find this to be the best on the market. Like I've tried many dry shampoos. I even used to make my own one at one point with like cornstarch, but I just feel like this really is just the best. So I am leaving it up to the professionals these days. But yeah, I'm just gonna spray this in my roots and especially in the front here along my face because that is 
where my ha hair tends to get most greasy and it's almost empty. And then sometimes I will spray a bit at the back here as well. Obviously you can dry out the hair if you overdo it, so I try to only use a little bit. I also like the texture that it gives my hair, um, which I think is perfect for this like beachy kind of wave that I like doing. And yeah, then as you can see, I'm just brushing through it to make sure that the dry shampoo is all well distributed like that. Right, so after doing that, I am just gonna part my hair. So I might just show you the technique and then I'm just gonna turn around and do the rest in the mirror uh, because it is a bit hard to see myself in the viewfinder there. Um, but yeah, what I usually do is I just give it a rough straighten um, and I usually only do this to like the bottom part of my hair just to like get these little flyaways down here under control because um, yeah, I think that gives a quite nice result. After doing that, I am just going to curl it basically and what I do the technique that I'm using is I curl the hair away from my face so I will curl it away from my face all the way to like the half of you know the back of my head here um, and then I'll continue on the other side all the way to the back away from my face take a strand here pull it down just a little bit turn it around and then down and then I let it go and then you have a nice sort of relaxed kind of wave. Um, and I try to leave the ends kind of straight as well, which I think is key for this sort of um, beachy style or wave. And then I let it go. And I can just show you one more time. I take a strand of hair, I run it down, around drag it and then I let it go and then obviously once they've cooled down when I've, I'm done curling all of my hair I will just run my fingers through it and then they'll get even more relaxed and natural looking and I also find that during the day they actually just get better because they get even more relaxed and even they look even more natural so they can look a bit done to start off with but I think yeah during the day they just start they just look better and better throughout the day so I'm just gonna proceed with the rest of the bottom section. So be right back. And then um, with the inner sections here, you can see they are quite straight compared to the rest. I'll just take those, like just a big strand of hair like this and then just give it a bit of a bend um, just so that it yeah, blends in a bit more nice with the rest. But again, I'm not trying to be too perfect about it. And then I will proceed to the next layer of hair. And then I will do the same thing. So postpartum, my hair hasn't changed all that much. Um, I did get some like bald spots here. So it's been growing out ever since. So that's why I have these like weird shorter <laughs> pieces of hair. So that's just post postpartum regrowth. Um, it's not the fringe because my fringe, I had a fringe last year. That's almost pretty much grown out again. So, so these tend to like wave a lot. And I like to just give them a bit of a straighten just again to make sure they blend in well with the rest of my hair. Um, which is also one of the other reasons why I prefer using the straighteners right now because then I can sort of get those under control, these like little flyaways. And then I will just proceed as I did with the bottom part of my hair. So run it down, twist it around, drag it, and then I let go right at the end there. And then we have this nice relaxed kind of wave. spray a bit of hairspray into my hair. This is just from a Danish drugstore called Metas. 
It's without perfume, kerosinorics, one label as well, so it's really good for people with sensitive skin. Again, like I said before, I like to keep the amount of products I use with fragrance on a minimum. Um, so I'm just gonna spray my hair first. And this just gives, basically just gives it a nice hold, which is the whole point of hairspray. So I'm not gonna touch it yet, I'm just gonna let it cool. Uh, but before moving on with the top part of my hair, I thought we should just talk uh, hair care. Um, so right now I'm using Olaplex. I'm using their Blonde Enhancer Shampoo, which is essentially a purple shampoo to maintain that cooler blonde um, that I got in my hair last time. And this has definitely made a, a huge difference. Usually it will definitely, through time, turn more golden, my hair. So it's been nice to have something to sort of maintain that slightly cooler blonde. It is a bit pricey, definitely an investment. Don't know if I keep purchasing it, but my hairdresser used it the last time I was there and I really liked it. I also find the scent to be really like mild in, in these products, which I really like. Also believe they're both cruelty-free and vegan, which is always great, I think. So I use that and I also use the Bond Intense Moisture Mask, again, because I only wash my hair every third day. I didn't really see the need to buy like a conditioner. I just wanted the mask. Um, it's usually you're recommended to use that once or twice a week, so it kind of fits with the the hair washing days that I have throughout the week. Um, before I use the shampoo, I will actually just use like a basic all-around kind of shampoo. This is like one from a, this is just from the supermarket, from a brand called Dama. Something the whole family can use because again, it's without any scent. It carries uh, both, uh, it's both allergy certified, it's vegan, it's carries the Nordic Swan label, so it's perfect for people with sensitive skin. You can use it on your kits as well. I use that first to wash my hair, so I do a bit of a double cleanse, just to make sure I get all of, like the residue and all of the leftover like hair styling products that I might have in my hair. And also like the um, dry shampoo, whatever I might have left in my hair, just to make sure everything is washed out um, so that I have a clean slate. So that's just something I do. I think I read somewhere once that if you don't wash your hair that often, it can be quite um, good to do a bit of a double cleanse. So that's what I do and I find it to, to work quite well. So that's all for hair care. Um, once I'm done washing my hair, I'll get out, I'll brush it. Sometimes I will use a leave-in conditioner. This is from Function which I'm sure some of you might be familiar with. No specific reason why I have this. I think I was gifted some products from Function a long time ago and I'm kind of just using up the rest that I have from the leave-in conditioner. Just find that that sometimes makes it a bit easier to, to brush out my hair and also gives a nice kind of shine to my hair. So yeah, that is all for products that I use. I don't use any like heat protection spray, which, um, it's probably a mistake to some people, um, but yeah, I've just never really used that. Um, I'd rather try to be mindful about how much heat I actually like apply to my hair. So I don't, I hardly ever blow dry it. I always let it, let it air dry. So whenever I wash my hair, it's always in the nighttime, and then I let it air dry, and then I go to bed, and then I can style it the next day. So currently, just waving the front sections of my hair. Um, and obviously because I'm growing out this fringe, you can see this part is a bit um, shorter than the rest. I will start up a bit higher with the wave on these front parts. So basically it's the same technique, um, but I just start up a bit higher. straighteners and then that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna let it cool down for a few minutes. I'm just gonna spray a bit more hairspray on the top layer here, especially along the front sections, like that. 
and then uh, once it's all cooled down I will just run my hands through my hair so I'll just shake up the curls like this and then just run my fingers through it again to give that more natural look to blend in all of the layers this is what it looks like from the back so that is how I style my hair. I love this hairstyle. Um, it's been sort of like my go-to at least for the past six years and I just feel so much more like myself without the fringe. I regretted it almost immediately after getting that fringe. Um, becoming a mom, you already don't really feel like yourself so the fringe definitely didn't help. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Not that I'm using any like specific technique or anything. Like I'm not a hairdresser, but this is just how I like doing my hair. Uh, this just works for me. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new, I would love to have you around. And yeah, thanks to all of you for your everlasting support. It means a lot to me. Um, I always enjoy spending time with you guys and checking in within our community. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.